Hi there, I'm Professor E. And I'm DJ Schurz. Welcome to the robot program. In this episode, we're going to show you how you can use QR codes to have your robot recognize information. And I have some QR codes here. Ooh, and right now they're a mystery. We don't know what they mean, what they lead right. to, what they say. We don't know anything. So how are we going to find out what they mean? Well, we're going to use JD for this example. And of course, you can use any of the Revolution robots, including the little adventure bot. As long as you have a camera, you have to be able to see the QR codes. So we'll lie JD down and we'll connect to his Wi-Fi network here. And of course, we will load up our Easy Builder software. And we'll skip going to Easy Robot School. And we're going to load the example project for our robot. If you have AdventureBot, load the AdventureBot Bear project. If you have Six, load Six Bear project. If you have Rolly, load the Rolly Bear project. And of course, we're going to use JD, so we're going to use the JD Bear project. So the Bear project gives you a nice clean workspace where you can add the controls that you need for your activity. And if you have a server profile for, J for JD, then load that up. And of course, we'll push the connect button. Give him lots of room. Give him some room. JD wakes up. And of course, my favorite is to get JD to stand up. That's how I get out of bed every day. Yeah, one it foot is. in front of the other one like that? One front, yep. So we are going to need the robot to be able to see the QR code, which means we have to connect to the robot's camera. To do that, we're going to choose Project, Add Controls, Camera, and select Camera Device. The camera device is going to load and choose the Start button and say, Hello, Andreas. OK, so we'll turn JD around here. And we can hold the QR code up in front of the robot, and as you can see, it's not doing anything. We're going to choose the Tracking tab, and of all the different tracking types, the one we care about today is QR code. Okay. So we'll select that. Now when I hold up the first sheet, you can see in the top left of the screen, Oh, we have something flashing the in the code. corner. That's right, so it's reading my name. So in case you can't see it, it says DJ Shures. Okay, now you're going to want to make some QR codes at home. So we'll show you how to do that right now. So we're going to choose Add in the project list here, and we're going to choose the QR code encoder. And here, the QR code encoder will load up. By default, it's the words Easy Robot. Okay. In here, I can type anything I want. I can type in the word um, Professor E, and I can choose Generate. And you can see the code changes, and that actually is the words Professor E. I can type in the words, the robot program, and you'll watch this change again. And you see how it got a little bit more complex? There's much more smaller pixels than there were when it was Professor E. In fact, if I put the word DJ in there, it becomes, all the pixels become really big. It's not as complicated. So I'm gonna, I could choose the print button and I can print this on my computer printer and end up with pieces of paper. So what like you've this. done here. Okay, so we have some QR codes that we've already made. So I'm gonna close down the QR code generator because we don't need that right now. And let's have the robot actually speak out of its speaker and say what it is that the QR code reads. Okay. So we're gonna click on the gear button of the camera control and choose scripts. And under tracking start, we're gonna choose the little pencil icon. This is the code that's going to execute every time the robot is detecting something that we tell it to detect. In this case, QR codes. So the current script editor is Blockly. We'll close that. We're going to choose the audio tab, say EZB, and then we will read text, create text with, some more text, and we'll drag that right here and we'll type in the words, I read we're going to hit space and enter. And then we're going to choose the variable tab and choose the variables in here. And under this variable list, these are all the variables that store the information, we have the camera QR code. So we can select that. That's the variable that's going to store the information that is inside of the QR code. And it's going to get updated each time we see a new, new QR code. Yeah. And if you want to learn more about variables and how we can use them, you can check out one of our other episodes. We can push the save button. Okay, so now we know what this one, the first one's going to say. I read DJ Shores. Good. Yes, you do. And we'll hold up the second one. Okay, we one. don't know this one. We don't know. I read Professor E. There we go. Good. And last but not least. I read www.therobotprogram.com. So 
So you can even put URLs into your QR code. So QR codes are a great way to store information, share information with your friends, and to share that information with your robot. In this episode, we showed you how you can recognize QR codes with your robot. Load Easy Builder and open the Bear project for your robot. The Bear project provides a nice clean workspace without any extra controls. This allows you to add only the controls that you need for this activity. Connect to your robot and add the camera device from the project controls. Click on the green Start button to start the camera preview. Under the Tracking tab, click on the checkbox that says QR code. Now when you hold up a QR code in front of your camera, you'll see the information displayed in the top left corner. The text that is encoded within the QR code will be flashing in red. Within Easy Builder, you can actually create your own QR codes to use for this project. Under Controls, add QR Code Encoder. Type in the text that you want to encode within the QR code and click on Generate. The more information you try to store, the more complicated the code will look. The pixels will also get smaller, which provides more resolution within the QR code. The more resolution, the more information that can be stored. You can store any information, from names to sentences and even URLs. We're now going to create a script that will be executed when the robot begins to track a QR code. From the camera control, click on the gear icon to access the configuration settings. Click on the Scripts tab and you'll see two different options, Tracking Start and Tracking End. Add the Say Easy B command and then add Create Text With. This will allow us to create an entire sentence for the robot to speak by appending a string and a variable. The robot will read this sentence before it reads the data that's stored in the variable. You can have it say, I see a blank, and then it'll read the variable information. Make sure you leave a space at the end of that sentence, or else the robot will think that the last characters are meant to be added to the variable name. You're then going to add the variable called camera QR code. This is a variable that stores the information that the robot reads from the QR code that it's detecting. Every time it detects a new QR code, it's going to update this variable with the new text. By appending this variable's contents to the string we already have, it's going to enable the robot to actually speak the text that is stored within that variable. Once you save this script, it will now be executed when the robot begins to track a new QR code. You can watch the tracking value underneath the camera preview to see when the robot is tracking a QR code and when it's available to track something new. Try coding messages to your friends and see what your robot detects. Thanks for watching this episode and we'll see you next time. Which control can be used to generate a custom QR code? Does smaller pixel size allow for more or less data storage? Which variable stores the text of the last recognized QR code? Find the answers at therobotprogram.com.